Islamic Propagation Center and Mr. Didat has also assisted us by donating to us the literature which has been so freely made available. And to have a person like Mr. Didat to call upon for assistance and the Islamic uh, Propagation Center for advice, we are indeed at an advantage and we always hope that we can call upon them in the future. That we ask and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Brother Ahmed Didat long life, health and strength inshallah that he may continue with the good work. Jazakallah. The time is running out and we have uh, several more speakers, so I will make a meditation, make a meditation, ask them to be as brief as possible and uh, apologize that uh, we were supposed to conclude by 4 o'clock, but we shall not be able to do so, so that we could go upstairs and say our asset fair. However, we better just say the final speaker will now conclude the forum here before I call upon Mr. Diga to say the thing. I will call upon Brother Farid Sanada from the Muslim Youth Movement to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we have gathered this afternoon to honor a man who has given us sterling service in Islam in the field of Dawah. And the fact that he was awarded the King Fraser International Award for his meritorious services is a manifestation of his value, his contribution, his commitment, his dedication, and the vital role that he alone is fulfilling in various parts of the world. And that role, my brothers and sisters, is one of striking fear in the hearts of missionaries all over the world, particularly those that are undermining Islam in all parts of the world, including the whole of Africa, as well as right here in our home, South Africa. At this point, I also wish to say that it is rather sad that Muslims in this country have not fully appreciated the importance of such a man as Ahmed Bay Didad. Lately, Mr. Didad has been much in the news, resulting in a positive and negative response from many quarters. However, to those who accuse him of splitting the forces of liberation in his approach to the Dawah in this country, we wish to make it absolutely clear to them, here and now, that if the approach to Dawah by Ahmed Baidiyah had exposed your undermining of Islam and Muslims in the guise of liberation, then so be it. The Muslims stand with Haq, the truth at all times. If what Ahmed bin Baidira is saying is the truth, then we stand with it regardless of the consequences. We cannot sell our Islam for a meager price in this world. Why is it, I ask you, that every time we do this or that, in the name of Islam, we are branded sectionalists. You establish an Islamic medical association, you are branded a sectionalist. You establish an Islamic school, you are branded a sectionalist. You support the truth, you are called a sectionalist. Those Muslim groups and individuals who wish to curry favor with their friends and colleagues by reprimanding everything a Muslim does in the name of Islam, we say, please note that Ahmed Bay Girad and the Dawah workers in this country have contributed much more in the liberation of man from the worship of man to the worship of the Supreme Creator of this entire universe than all the rhetoric of liberation that you have been saying or discussing in this country. To us, Islam is the only form of liberation understood and accepted by Muslims throughout the world. Also, I wish to point out that the Islamic, the Asalaam, Islamic Education Institute, which was founded by Ahmed Bay is a living example of the efforts for struggle for liberation in this country. To us, the Muslim youth, Ahmed Bay Bidad is a giant in the Dawah. He continues to be a source of inspiration. He has done the Muslims of this country proud in achieving the award. For that we say, may Allah grant you a long life and assist you to train many more who will continue your major role in the Dawah. 
as a token of our appreciation, we have resolved to confer on Ahmed Bay Bidad a further award, and that is honoring him as a lifelong rukun, which means a pillar of the Muslim movement of South Africa, which is the highest category of membership within this movement. And to every member who attains that category, we normally present him with a very humble and pertinent token. I have with me a jacket label, which may not be as valuable as what's on the table, but to me it's priceless. And with this, as a token of our appreciation, I wish to grant you to do that. Jazakallah for an excellent work done, and may Allah grant you strength and your family strength to give the support. Okay, that man here has been with his group, the Eternal Islamic Center, a lot of work for the fire. He's a missionary, it's a Dawa organization, and they're achieving tremendous work. In that, they're run, they running schools, they're running Dawa, uh, Dawa Center, and they're running clinics. I call upon Mr. Anwar Bailey to say a few words. نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Indeed, it is an honor for me to be honoring Mr. Kida and to be sharing this particular occasion with the stars Kida. I want to say firstly that. I have often affectionately known him as Chacha and not so much as Mr. Dida. Mr. Dida, as somebody has indicated, is a very busy person, no doubt he is. That's because he is so involved in promoting everything that is Islamic. And the Inchanga Islamic Center is no exception. The center which started in 1981 with about two or three students, alhamdulillah today it has over 200 students with even adult classes. And Mr. Dida has been very, very instrumental in encouraging the people that are putting the efforts in promoting Islam in this, shall I say, valley of thousand hills. The potential for Islam there is quite tremendous in the sense that we started at Inchanga, we spread to Fredville and now it's in Pumalanga. And what is most encouraging is that people are actually coming and asking for uh, Islam. They are asking to be converted and our Ustaz Vida has been present at a jalsa that we held and he addressed the audience and as a result of his addressing the audience many many people had reverted to Islam as a result of it. Alhamdulillah. To you Ustaz we are indeed grateful. This King Faisal Award that uh, Ustaz has won as Professor Nadvi has pointed out it's not an award that one campaigns for. It's not something like an election or, or somebody wants to become a president or a Mr. Universe. Not that Mr. Dirat is qualified for that. But nonetheless, it is something that one, he was given as a recognition for services. Something that is just highlighted to us, the achievements that he has achieved. And I hope and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this jihad that Ustaz Bidad is involved in will be a source of inspiration to every one